The AI Assistant can be accessed from anywhere, starting with obviously the home page. It is easily accessible from the upper right hand corner. Any page you are on, the data from that page is also sent to the AI Assistant for added context. It is fully integrated throughout Elastic Observability. It makes an SRE's job more productive, reducing MTTR. In logs, you can select any log message and get details about its meaning from the LLM. The assistant is able to see an error here in the log related to Redis. And thanks to that knowledge base integration, it is able to find us a link to a GitHub issue where we occasionally have this problem with an unreliable network connection. In APM, you can actually bring up the AI assistant from the upper right corner as usual, but it specifically helps when understanding APM errors and how to resolve and remediate them, as this is a main step in SRE flows. Similarly, in profiling, you can access it at any point, but more importantly, when you want to understand how to optimize a function to reduce costs and improve efficiency, the AI assistant will provide ways to optimize that particular function. Here, it is recommending that we replace a CPU-intensive hashing function in our Python code. In infrastructure monitoring, you can use it to understand processes in hosts, such as this one running on a GCP GKE node. In general, the AI assistant can visualize data from any signal. Let's ask it about logs in the last 24 hours. Or we can actually ask it how much disk capacity is available on my application server. Additionally, we can have it execute cases for alerting support. From the cases homepage, I can assign people to a case, I can participate, add comments, or the Elastic AI Assistant is able to participate in case development, and it can correlate alerts to a specific case. Finally, you can also integrate it into Slack and talk to it directly from there.